Welcome back to Cozy Rosie Crochet and to another of our squares in the HodgePodge Blanket Crochet Along. Today we're learning how to work the short chevron. This uses increases and decreases in our stitches to create a spiked chevron look in our crochet fabric. Now before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you never miss out on another one of my crochet tutorials again. Let's find out the materials we need to get started. The materials you're going to need to make your very own short chevron square is some iron weight or worsted weight yarn. This is a size 4 yarn and I'm going to be using my favourite which is Paintbox Yarns Simply Aran. Now this yarn is 100% acrylic, it's really soft and squishy and this is shade number 250 or 250 which is bubblegum pink. It's a really nice pink, one of my favourites, super bright. I'm also going to be using my 5mm crochet hook. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and of course a darning needle to weave in those ends. So gather those materials and let's get started. So we're going to start by making a slip knot with our yarn and placing that onto our hook. I'm going to start by making a chain of 26. So we yarn over and pull through. That's two, three, four, and we go straight into our chevron pattern, working directly into our chain for this square. So we're going to work to, um, our first US double crochet into that fourth chain from hook. So this loop here does not count as a stitch. And we're going to work, so we're not going to work in one, two or three. We're going to work into our fourth chain. Two, three, there's number four. So we yarn over the hook and then insert our hook under the top loop of our first chain. We yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So this chain three and the, treble cro the double crochet together count as a double crochet two together. We're then gonna work a double crochet into each of the next two chains. So we yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain along, bring our loop up, pull through two, pull through two and we repeat that into the next chain as well so we yarn over insert our hook bring our loop back up pull through two and pull through two we're then going to work our first peak and to do that we're going to work three double crochets into the next chain so we yarn over the hook insert our hook bring our loop up pull through two pull through two and we're going to do that twice more into the same chain so we work another double crochet. So that's two into that same chain. And then we work a third double crochet all into that same chain. And that creates the first peak in our chevron. We're then gonna work one double crochet into each of the next two chains. This is number two. And then we're gonna create what I call the trough of our chevron, so the bottom bit. And that's worked over the next three stitches. We're going to start by yarning over, insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to yarn over our hook and insert our hook into the next chain along. Yarn over, bring our loop up. We're just going to yarn over and pull through those first two loops. And we do that for a third time into that next chain along. So we yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, bring our loop up. Again, we're just going to pull through those first two loops on our hook. We should now have four loops on our hook. And here we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. And that creates our double crochet three together. So we've decreased across those three stitches with just one stitch on the top. We then work one double crochet into each of the next two chains. And then into the next chain, we're going to work our peak again, which is those three double crochets into the same chain. So that's two. And there's oh, number three, all into that same chain. You can see we're starting to get a bit of a ripple where it goes up and down on our chain. We then work one double crochet into each of the next two chains. So that's one and two before we work our 
double crochet three together again across those next three chains. So we yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that again. So we yarn over, put insert our hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through two. We've got three loops now. And then for our third one, we yarn over, insert our hook into the next chain again, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through those first two loops. We should have our four loops remaining on our hook. We're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. We're then going to work one double crochet into the next two stitches, one and two, before working our next peak. So for that, we work three double crochets into the same stitch. So that's one, two, and three, all into the same chain. So at this point, you should have four chains remaining and we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One and two. So we now have just two chains remaining and here we're going to work a double crochet two together. So we yarn over the hook, insert our hook into the first chain, yarn over, bring a loop up, yarn over and pull through two. We yarn over, insert our hook into the last chain, yarn over, bring a loop up, yarn over, pull through two. So, so far it's just like that double crochet three together, but there's no more chains to work. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that completes row one. Going into row two, we're going to chain two. This does not count as a stitch, but we're going to skip the stitch underneath that chain two and work in one double crochet into the next stitch. So we've got our chain two and there's our stitch. We're not gonna work into there. We're gonna work one double crochet into the next stitch. And this creates the equivalent of a double crochet two together like we have underneath. We then double crochet into the next two stitches. That's one and two. And here we're at the top of our peak. As you can see, we've got that middle stitch here and we're gonna work three double crochets into this stitch. That's two and three. And then we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches to come back down towards our trough of our peak. So we've got three stitches that we're going to work our double crochet three together over. So here you can see your last double crochet three together and we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into the next stitch, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that double crochet three together, yarn over, pull through two and then finally insert your hook into the next stitch, bring your loop up, pull through two to have your four loops remaining, yarn over and pull through all four loops. We then double crochet one into the next two stitches before we're back to working our peak again. And the top of that middle stitch, we work three double crochets Oops, and three. before coming back down by working a further two double crochets, one into each of the next two stitches, before working our next three double crochet together. So we yarn over, insert the hook, bring our loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, bring our loop up, yarn over and pull through two, and then do the same in our next stitch. So we have pull through two, Got our four loops remaining on our hook and we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. Work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and we're back to working in the middle of our peak again so we work our three double crochets My yarn's attacking me here. There we are. 
we're gonna we should at this point have one two three four stitches remaining so we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and that will leave us two stitches to work our double crochet two together so we yarn over insert our hook yarn over bring our loop up yarn over and pull through two yarn over again insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over bring your loop up yarn over pull through two got three loops remaining on your hook yarn over and pull through all three loops so that completes the first two rows of our project so for row two that we've just worked all the way up to row 12 we're going to repeat row two so you can um, skip back to the start of this chapter and follow along and just keep repeating that for a total of 12 rows so there's going to be another 10 rows after this one so if you're doing a tally you just need to do 10 more or you just count your rows you're doing for a total of 12 rows once you've done your 12 rows we're going to come back and go through how to do the edging on our project because as you can see we need to fill in these gaps to create an actual square so continue to work your row two for a total of 12 rows and then i'll meet you back to do our edging so at the end of row 12 you should now have your full kind of short chevron square here and we're going to go in to start the edging because what we want to do is to fill in not fill in the spaces but to join the chevrons so that we still get a nice square edge so to do that we start by chaining four one two three and four so once we've done our chain four which counts as a double crochet and a chain one we don't work into the bottom of that chain three and we skip the next stitch we then place a, a double crochet oops a double crochet into the next stitch followed by a half double crochet and then into the top of that chevron we work one single crochet we repeat down working a half double crochet into the next stitch and then a double crochet into the next and then we're going to chain across the base of that chevron so we chain three one two and three we skip the next three stitches so skip one two and three this is the next one we're going to work into and we're going to yarn over and work our double crochet we then work a half double crochet followed by a single crochet into the next stitch a half double crochet into the next and then a double crochet into the next again we're going to miss the base of that chevron so we chain three one two and three so we skip one two and three and then here we're going to yarn over and work a double crochet A half double crochet followed by our single crochet and we finish off by working a half double crochet Oops. a double crochet into the next we're going to chain one to skip that stitch underneath and end with a double crochet so that creates two beautiful spaces opposite the peaks of the chevron as well as a space at either edge to continue with this edging we start by working a chain of two and then we're going to single crochet around the post of this space and that creates a corner for our square so if i turn it you can see you've got your corner space there there we go and we're going to continue to work down the side of this square, working into the ends of the rows, placing um, a total of 24 single crochets evenly. So this means that we're just going to work one single crochet into the end of each row, but we don't want any more than 24 of them. So this is where, um, when I was a beginner, I got a little bit confused, kind of where do I place them? Where do they go? So I'm going to try and do this and slow down a little bit for you to kind of show 
where the holes are, where we can place our hook. Ooh, already worked into that space, Fiona. It's so easily done. And we're just kind of working around the ends of the rows, placing our single crochets evenly. What we want is for our edge to not bunch up because there's not enough stitches or be too wide because there are too many. So that's why a stitch count is given in these situations to ensure that we work the right number that we need to marry up on both sides of our square. Now this is equally important when we're working a blanket where we're joining squares together. Because they're going to be made of different stitches, there's a risk that we won't have the same number of stitches or number of rows all along the edge of our squares. So this allows us to ensure that we have the right number. So I'm getting close to the end. So I'm going to check the number of stitches that I have because I've been talking to you, I've not been counting, which is my own fault. So I have 20 stitches so far. So that's 23, I oh know 21 even. 22, 23, and my final stitch is going in here, number 24. Whew, that was lucky. But we, it has brought me down to the next corner. So you can see there's my original slip knot. And in this corner here, we're going to work um, one single crochet, a chain two, and then we start the pattern that we did on the top here. Now it's going to be slightly different because obviously we have um, three dips looking at us and two peaks. So it's going to be slightly different to what we worked on the top. And for this, we're going to start by working our double crochet into that where the slip knot was. Oops. And then we're going to work into the reverse of our chain. If I move that slip knot out of the way, it'll be a bit clearer. So we've got at the bottom of each of these stitches, we have a chain we need to work into. And I have worked into that one. Please ignore that one. So this is the next one for me to work. And we're going to repeat this pattern. So where we've got this DC3 together, we still need to skip the two stitches either side. So we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to skip those three stitches. So we chain three. So chain three, we're going to skip those next three stitches. So that's one, two and three. And then we're double crocheting into the bottom of the next chain. One. Yep, yeah, that's one double crochet. Then we work our half double crochet. And then into the top of our peak, we work our single crochet. Followed by, followed by our half double crochet. We then work our double crochet and then we're ready to skip three. So we chain three and then we skip, skip, skip and work a double crochet into the next. We then half double crochet. Oops. So at the top of our peak, so we work our single crochet, followed by our half double crochet and our double crochet. Now we have another dip here, another bottom of the peak. So we're going to chain three, so we can skip three. So one, two and three, it's there, not there. And then we're working our double crochet. Work our half double crochet. Followed by our single crochet in this corner. <clears throat> so at the end of this side, we now have our three peaks or our three straight lines to join our square. We're going to continue to work all the way down this side, working again an even number, but we need to work our corner. So we chain two to put a corner in, and then we're going to single crochet into the same corner space. And then we're going to work those 24 single crochets evenly. 
that's one, two, three, and four, and I am back to the start of that chain three. So I'm going to add a couple on because I had an extra one up this side. I can put one into that around that double crochet, and then I'm going to add my corner into that third chain up. So I work a single crochet, chain two, and another single crochet into that top of that chain. And then we can just slip stitch into that space, ready to fasten off. So you can just make a little chain one, snip your yarn, bring that through with your hook. Oops. Then all that's left to do is to weave the ends in. So I hope you've enjoyed making your short chevron square with me today. It's a reversible pattern, in case you hadn't noticed, which I always like. The only difference is this edge has three, this edge has four holes, but actually it's super stunning and super simple. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out the rest of these squares that are available as part of this event. Uh, they are linked below for you in the description box and you can find all 30 squares that are featuring in this event. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for making your very own short chevron square. I will see you again very shortly for another crochet square.